Hello and welcome back. Like in the previous session, we have talked about the Ansible variables, but in this lab session, we are going to talk about the environment variables. Now, when we are talking about the environment variables, then I'm talking about the path, home and user. So this is just an example of environment variables, which are generally available onto the environment. So Ansible playbook allows you to update and use those environment variables when you are writing your own playbook. So with the help of Ansible, you can set the custom environment variable, which is needed for your Ansible playbook. And those environment variables can be set at a task level, or you can set it on that particular global or the playbook level. All right. So now I switch to my desktop. Uh, let me zoom in over here. And here, this is the playbook which I have created to explain the environment variable. So first of all, what we are going to do, first of all, we are just going to create this environment variable at a very top level or Ansible playbook level so that this environment variable which I have declared over here will be accessible for all the tasks which is mentioned inside my playbook. Second, we are just going to create a one more environment variable which is present inside the task and the visibility and the scope of that environment variable is only within this particular task and this cannot be accessed outside of that particular task so that's these are the two use cases which we are going to see in this demo okay let me break this ansible playbook and first of all we'll start with like how to create an environment variable so at line number nine you will see a keyword or attribute that is named environment and below that you will find the line where i have written a variable name that is example and the value i have assigned over here is foo bar so this example name is user defined name. You can keep a uh, environment variable name of your choice. So here you can uh, keep a one more variable name like a my var one and you can assign the value to it also. So that will also work. So I can put variable value one. So that also works. So here you can create a multiple number of an environment variable. But what's the key thing over here is this environment variable like example and my wire one. These two environment variables are available for all the tasks which I'm going to create or which I have already defined inside my playbook. So these variables can be accessed throughout these all these tasks. So that's the key benefit which you will get if you define the environment variable in this fashion. Now, second thing like uh, if you want to define an environment variable which is not global but which is very specific to a particular task so over here in this section so here i have created a variable or a task uh, sorry it's not variable it's a task so environment variable for only task level so here i have created again the same like i have used the keyword attribute that is environment and the variable name that is my task level variable and i have assigned the value that is hello world so now we have two environment variable, uh, maybe we can say three environment variable, example, myware one, and then this is the third one, which is very specific to that particular task. And here, what we are doing for each task, we are printing the value. So here you can see, I'm just printing the value of example, which is like a global environment variable. And here I'm just trying to print the value, which is like a task level environment variable, which is this one. And the third thing uh, I just wanted to demonstrate, like I just wanted to access, I just wanted to access the both variable that is example, uh, which is this, as well as this, uh, like a task level environment variable, which is this one. So ideally, uh, this particular task, we should only get the value of this variable, but not this one, because this my task level variable is a task level uh, environment variable. And I cannot access it because it is outside of this part, uh, outside of the scope of that particular task. So these are the three tasks which I have created. Uh, let's switch over to terminal and run this playbook. All right, so this is my terminal and this is the command which I'm just gonna run. But in case if you are wondering like where to find this command, then I have created this readme file over here inside this uh, particular project. So from here, you can just copy this particular command. And this whole repository, I'll uh, post it onto my description section so you can clone this particular repository. Okay, so coming back to my terminal, which is over here. So I'm just going to add a one more flag for verbose, that is V, so that we can see the output of our tasks. So I mean to say, uh, if I open this one, so we can see this output like a built-in command where I'm doing the echo. So that's why I have added a verbose parameter over there. You just simply need to execute it. Okay, so let's uh, analyze this output task level. So first we will start from this particular task. The name of the task is environment var at playbook level. And here we are doing the echo of example. 
So if you go to terminal once again, so yeah, this is the task which we have executed and this is the output which we are getting that is foo bar. And if you check, so yeah, this is the foo bar and we are able to access that environment variable inside that particular task. And because this is a global or uh, Ansible level, uh, playbook level variable. All right. Now coming to the next task, which is environment for only task level. So here at the task level, what we have done, we have created this variable and the value is hello world. And if you go back to terminal, uh, then you will see the output that is hello world. So that's also correct. That's also valid. But this third task is a bit interesting because here we have we are accessing the example as well as the previous uh, this attribute or uh, this environment variable. So ideally, we should only get the value of example, but not this one. So let's open the terminal once again. And here you can see the output. So here you can see the output foobar and that is this one. This is the foobar and which is right actually. But on the other hand, if you take a look, then the value of this variable is not getting printed because that particular environment variable is outside the scope of that particular task. So that's why I have created this third task to just to show you the difference between the task level environment variable and the playbook level environment variables. All right, so this is how you're just gonna create an environment variable inside your playbook and you can access those environment variable either at a task level or a playbook level. Well, this was a very small demo, but this concept was really important because uh, when you are going to write your Ansible playbook for your production application, then you will need uh, to use this environment variables quite a lot. And you should be really careful like where you are defining your environment variable, whether it's a task level or whether it's uh, like a playbook level. So keep in mind those concepts and try to use this environment variable in those fashion. All right, so that was all about the environment variable, but in the next session of our Ansible series, we are gonna talk about the if, then, and else statement. So stay tuned for the next episode, and in the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna upload more uh, similar session onto the Ansible playbook and Ansible series. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new to this channel, then you can just subscribe to this channel where you will find the content on Terraform, uh, Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible. And there are many sessions which I have uploaded for a Helm chart also. So just go and check those lab session if you are new to the DevOps. So stay tuned for that. And uh, see you into the next session. Till then, take care and bye-bye.